With another video. Today I have a new T206 pickup of Hall of Famer Huey Jennings. So from 1907 to 1920 Jennings was the manager of the Detroit Tigers. This card is graded a PSA 4 recently encapsulated with the PSA Lighthouse label. It has fantastic centering good registration, and great color. I love how the background transitions from a yellow to a light pink. And if we turn it around, you'll see that it's a Piedmont back, 350 subjects. Again, it is nicely centered with minimal tobacco staining. So really nice example here. Super excited to be able to add this one to the collection. Jennings actually has three variations in the T206 set. A portrait, one hand showing, and the card I have, both hand showing. I particularly wanted the both hand showing pose because it captures the essence that was Huey Jennings. During his years as the Tigers manager, Jennings became famous for his antics in the third base coaching box. Jennings would start dancing around and eventually start screaming, Eeyaw, Eeyaw. The Eeyaw chant became his trademark. He shouted those words while waving both his arms over his head with a sharp rise of his right knee. His T206 captures that well, and for this reason is my favorite pose. To this day, the legend has grown, but the actual reasoning behind his unique outbursts are not so clear. Some say it was to pump up his team. Some say it was to make them laugh and get them loose. Others say it was to catch the opposition off guard. And then there were some that said it was used more like signs. And finally, some folks said that it was the result of him being hit in the head too many times. There's no concrete evidence for any of them, which only adds to the legend surrounding Jennings. More than 100 years later, that is what fans remember about him, if they remember him at all. But there is so much that Jennings did in his career that was memorable. Connie Mack called Jennings one of the three greatest managers in history. Jennings had the difficult task of managing Ty Cobb. Now he always backed up Cobb, and because of this, he earned his trust and respect. This was evident during a Tigers game in 1912. The game featured pickups, who were playing for the Tigers when the regular team went on strike to protest the suspension of Ty Cobb. Jennings also sent his coaches in as substitute players. In fact, Jennings came to bat himself once as a pinch hitter. According to one source, when the umpire asked him for whom he was batting, Jennings answered, none of your business. The umpire noted this on his lineup sheet. Jennings, batted for exercise. A lifetime 311 hitter, as a player, Jennings was fearless. He allowed himself to be hit by pitches more than any other player. Jennings holds both the single season and career records for hit by pitches. During one game, Jennings was hit in the head by a pitch in the third inning, but he managed to finish the game. As soon as the game ended, Jennings collapsed and was unconscious for three days. Additionally, he sustained further head trauma after a serious car accident and an incident while studying law at Cornell University. While attending Cornell, Jennings fractured his skull, diving headfirst into a swimming pool at night, only to find out the pool had been emptied. Needless to say, the accumulative brain trauma was extensive. It's simply remarkable he was able to manage at the major league level for 16 years, but the recurring blows to the head undoubtedly took their toll. During the 1925 season, Jennings was put in full charge of the Giants. The team finished in second place 
and the strain caught up with Huey Jennings, who suffered a nervous breakdown when the season ended. Three years later, he sadly passed away from meningitis. Huey Jennings was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1945 as a player. Huey Jennings left this world and Tiger fans still wondering what was he thinking when he yelled, Eeyah! So I hope everyone enjoyed this new T206 pickup. Again, thank you so much for watching, thanks for caring, and I will see you in the next one.